So don't starve. I've just had a nice breakfast, so it seemed an appropriate time to start playing this game. We are here. We go. And just started uh, the day of day 19, and today is going to be the day when we see the today. This this session is going to be the session where we see the oncoming of winter. So let's do a quick run around here and gather a few bits and pieces. Oh yes, I forgot about you. Oh yes, I forgot. I've got to catch the blooming thing, haven't I? All right. We got the blooming. Thank you. And let's have him. Oh, oh, he's dead anyway. All right. Looks like I've got to remember learn how to use the uh, the boomerang again. It's a question of timing. You gotta catch the uh, the boomerang as it comes back, otherwise you just get a face full of it, as you probably noticed there. Which means I'm gonna be eating fish sticks today for dinner. Okay. And that trap is gone, so let's make another one. The traps are all nicely filled today. Right, the plan this time round is going to be just getting a few last preparations for winter together. And most of those, to be honest with you, are going to be involved... Excuse me. Are going to involve... Um, getting resources. So when winter starts, we're going to start running out of... Plants, well, just about everything to be honest with you. Anything that grows is going to grow slowly. The birds will be around. The uh, rabbits will still be around. But all this stuff is just going to grow incredibly slowly. And as a result, effectively, it's going to be a resource that's no longer available to us. Which is going to be a real problem, to be totally honest with you because we can no longer really go on long journeys in order to uh, make things we need. Okay, let's make ourselves some fish sticks then. So, we'll have one fish, like that. I don't know if monster meat will work. Let's not risk it. We'll put two berries in and a stick. Like that, get that cooking. That'll heal us up. There we go. Right. How's our, our dry food is still drying? So let's just put away what we've got here, shall we? Alright, so those drumsticks we don't have room for in the cooler. So what I think we're probably going to want to do there is... I'll tell you what, let's just get rid of that. And we'll store the drumsticks. Uh, eat the honey. It's not going to last very long anyway. All those berries. Okay, that's good. Uh, can you store anything in there? No. Uh, we can store stuff in here though, so let's store. Just free up some of our inventory here. I want to get lots of petals as well before the winter actually starts because one of the most important things we're going to need is. Um, is something to keep our sanity together. So uh, a flower garland seems like a good idea. Right, those are still drying. So let's go and get ourselves some stuff. Might as well get ourselves a few trees while we're at it. the incredible thing about the onset of water. If you notice, it is just about to get dark. Which is 
There you go. It's quite a terrible thought, really, isn't it? Leave those stumps. We'll pick them up later. Let's uh, move on and see what else we can get. Um, one of the other things I want to do is in obvious, find some obvious locations to put down paths. So, you know, if we find ourselves getting hurt, we can run to a, a near half rather than trying to get home. Um, looking at where we are here, I think up by the spiders is probably going to be a good place. Let's put one up there. Up there. And I think just, just for this winter, we're probably not going to be exp going very far. So that might actually be enough. Let's do that. Let's grab this stuff on the way up. Okay, that's where the spiders come, so let's do one here. So we'll be able to fire pit there. Like that, that's gonna need us in now in need of a bit more wood, so let's grab some. I could really do without a tree guardian today, but I'm prepared to deal with one if we find it. Uh, at the moment getting just getting some wood seems like a good thing for us. So there's two two fires, two bases operations. And just cut this tree, there we go, and then we'll head back. I think this material that's worrying me most at the moment is grass. We don't actually have a lot of it. So which is so surprising seeing as our base is on grass and green, but there you have it. So that's going to be a priority for me yet. Yeah. How we do it? Okay, they need to go this way. It's been, a, it's been a few days since I played this last, as you can probably tell. Ooh, new stride. This stride in the rain. It doesn't seem right somehow, does it? Okay, get some wood and a little fire. Install some of those. There you go, that's good. Alright, let's get some actual wood on the fire. Because, of course, it's raining, so it's going to get bad fast. And let's get some meat to dry. There's our, I have to say, so stride away. And there you go. Ooh, didn't mean to do that. Uh, thank you, Lightning Conductor! That was quite neatly done. Right. And them drying. The power is mine! <laughs> okay. Uh, nothing I particularly want to build at this moment. No, that's not what that is. Okay, so I'm just going to just going to be a couple of minutes until dawn, but there's no reason for you to hang around with me. I'll see you all. Hello, welcome back. I've just made a... Um, put some food on. Our sanity is going down because of all this rain, which is not good. But on the bright side, some of this grass is grown, so let's help ourselves to that quickly. And I think let's just crack on immediately with our resource hunt. Right, nothing much there. I'll get the rabbits later on on the way back, I think. I mean, we have plenty of meat, possibly not enough to last the winter yet, but still enough to get us a good way in, I would say. Uh, so that's not as important to me as getting flowers extra. It's getting some resources that are going to be denied to us during the winter. So let's make a point of grabbing hold of that. Okay, now during the winter, what's going to happen is things are, well they're not going to stop growing, but they're going to grow very, very slowly. We'll be incredibly lucky to get a harvest out of the bushes, for example, during the winter. So, everything we can grab now is just going to make life easier for us. We can still hunt, the rabbits will be around until spring, and that's going to involve us having some very, very greasy meals, but I think that's better than starving, really, isn't it? How are we doing for petals? Five. I want at least twelve to make a garland. 
so... Uh, at least we've got a decent bit of grass now. So let's concentrate on getting those petals. Which, in grassland, seems like the best place to go looking, really, doesn't it? Got to fight urge to get this grass. We can get that later on. Oh, we'll get this carrot, mate. Yummy carrots. I actually quite like carrots. Uh, one of those things, you know, it's, uh, that, that changed when I was, you know, it's a sign of that's growing up, to be honest. I used to hate, like most of the young men, I used to hate all, all sorts of vegetables. And they were horrible. But, uh, that, that carried on right into my teens and uh, well into my first job. Which, um, uh, I was a watch repairer, and I used to repair watches, and I used to work for a wonderful guy, this great, great old gentleman called Mr. Smith, who was this tall, strikingly white-haired gentleman. Imagine Leslie Nielsen with the English accent, if you want. Wonderful, wonderful guy, and I'm so... Looking back, I'm so proud and so happy to have had him as a mentor when I was when I was very young. Um, yeah, after a while, I, I didn't particularly enjoy being a watch repair. I didn't particularly enjoy working as a, a jeweler and uh, that environment, the whole retail thing, just wasn't for me to be totally honest with you. And so, opportunity arose, and I ended up working with a friend selling pre-formatted floppy disks. Believe it or not. Yes, we would format them and send them off to you for a hefty surcharge. This was before you could get them in the shops. This was before anyone sat down and thought, hey, you know what, why don't we just format these things before we sell them? Because let's face it, everybody uses the same discs. And, uh, well, I'd like to think that we were the people who influenced this decision. We weren't, but I'd like to think it. <laughs> so, there we go. Uh, we... Uh, selling these discs, and I, I gave my notice at the jewellery store, and Mr. Smith invited me to dinner. Which... You know, he brought, well, he, he invited me to Sunday lunch, to be honest with you. He invited me to Sunday lunch, and... Uh, so I went round to his house, and we were talking about things, and uh, he was asking about my plans, and we were discussing the cats, and his... Um, his habit of uh, t caravanning holidays. Now, I could un you got to understand something. Okay, I grew up in a forest and a touristy destination, and... Uh, Caravans are not my favourite thing, mostly for the amount of time of my life I spent stuck behind one during the, the holiday seasons. And so he was talking and he put this meal down in front of me, and this meal was about 85% vegetables. It was, a, it was an English roast dinner, so there was a bit of meat, there was some potatoes, and the rest was veg and gravy. And there was no way I was going to let this guy down, because as I said, he was, he was, he was a bit of a mentor to me. And to this day, I've, I've been thankful that I've known the guy, so yeah, I wasn't going to... Uh, skip this meal, no matter how much I decided I, I didn't like vegetables, so I ate the blooming thing, and you know what, I actually liked it. And, uh, yeah, I changed and coloured my attitude towards vegetables completely. I don't know why I've been saying you this, I just can't remember, actually. But there you go, and thinking of that, he needs some food, so why don't you have that? Nom! Right, and there is actually something I want to make. Sal thermal measurer. We need two planks, two pieces of gold. Uh, I think we're going to have enough resources for that. Yes, I think we are. So, uh, plank. And let's find where our gold is. Not that one. So about, oh, two out, one piece of gold. Okay, so there, that's something we can make some more. Uh, let's get these berries in when we have a chance. Actually, let's get that fire started, and then we'll get the berries in. There we go. As you can see, the, the, the berries bushes are starting to look really brown and spotty now. Uh, I think we'll get a couple more harvests out of them, and we're, pro we're probably going to have to re-fertilise them. So, let's pick up that rot. Let's get another meal going. I uh, don't think the rot is going to rot any faster, so we don't need to put that in there. So we'll put a piece of monster meat. 
We'll peel a morsel of meat, there we go, and cut the berries. And that'll get us another set of meatballs. And all we're really going to do now is just sit through the night. So I shall fade out here and see you in a minute. Okay, here we are. It is day 21. Ooh, looks like this stuff is all dry. Let's uh, grab some meat first. Uh, so that. Thank you very much. I've never tried drying monster meat, but then to be totally honest with you, I've never had so much of it I needed to. Uh, let's dry and dry. Marvellous. the wrong button there okay so we're pretty much in winter now which is possibly going to be a bit of a problem I still don't have enough flowers uh, I've got those fish sticks that heal us up to full let's grab some of these and hopefully this won't make us too naughty I would like to get one more piece of gold if I can. I don't think we're going to have time today, but I think let's have a let's have a try. See if we can get up there. Uh, uh, we've got our bunny ear mutts with us. Let's make ourselves another trap. As much as I don't particularly like the idea, this is what's going to keep. That music. Okay, all right, that music worried me. I've never heard that one before. Unless I don't recall ever hearing that one before. I it's, think it's since uh, I think that one's the uh, just telling us that winter has started. So, if I want a piece of gold, I better go and do it now, to be honest with you. Oh dear. I tell you what, once you get, on, once you get on for a certain number of traps, uh, farming them becomes a full-time job, in all honesty. And we don't really have time for it yet, so I think it's winter. Look at the ground. So we've got our rabbit earmuffs. That'll pro that should be enough for today. I want to run up here quickly and see if I can find some gold. Yeah, I think we'll run up past the cemetery. And we've, got a, we've got a fire with us if we need it. We've got our earmuffs. I think we'll survive a day or two. But here we are, in, actually in winter, which is quite a daunting prospect for really, isn't it? Right, so I think we're pretty good on, f uh, on the food front. I'm uh, quite happy with how we are there. And... Oh dear, hello. I was wondering if you were going to still be around. You know, I'd like to say I'm sorry for what I did. But my mother told me not to lie. Uh, pitchfork. If you don't have one, let's make one. Come on. There you go. Times of the absence at the moment. Oh, don't look happy. Get here. Come over here. That's it. That's it. All right. And that's the piece of gold we need. All right. Let's get out of here. have some fruit. That's uh, nice. Got loads of flint, don't really need that. This we'll deal with later on. That's uh, an entrance down to the caves. But that will give us a thermal measurer, which is going to be useful on two fronts. First of all, it's going to tell us how cold it is going to, how cold it's going to get, and later on it will tell us how much it's warmed up. Both are important things to know. going the right way, we're going the right way, just a little bit more this way. 
So this is it, okay? This is this is where it starts getting tough. This is where the, the ground starts to get covered in snow and penguins and the plants stop growing and all sorts of other fun things. Uh, this normally is the end of a character. I, I'm, getting, I'm feeling that this guy's doing all right, to be honest with you, but like I said, this is this tends to be the end of a character. Where are we going? We're going the right way, okay. So this may well signify the end of this series uh, this winter, but if it does, we'll just start again with a different character. Still got plenty of time. And you know what? I think we actually came out of this. Actually, why am I carrying those around? I keep them. Gonna need replacing. Alright, okay. Okay, that's given us plenty of meat, so let's let's make ourselves up some food. Let's put that in there, put that away. Another bit of monster meat, pad it out, and a couple of berries all the food that we've got here. Nice, okay, oh yeah, put that in there as well. And it's just about to get dark. What can I burn? There, well, let's see it's through. Okay, right. Well, that's the end of day 21. We are now officially in the winter. Next episode is going to start getting bitterly cold, but before we go, let's make ourselves a thermal measure. Well, that's it. Can that sit there? Okay, right, and looks like this is going to have to go out a little bit. There we go, we'll pop that there. And it's telling us that, yes, it is really rather cold. As if we didn't know that already. Okay, guys, like I said, that is day 21. Next episode, we're going to start seriously getting into winter. So I will hope you join me then. Until then, I've been Simon Parsons. This has been Don't Starve. Thank you, and good